Hi everyone, we are here with Lucas Singer of Zinger Vehicles and we are going to talk about your very awesome accomplishment with this car. So thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. Of course, excited to talk and describe what was really quite a five day experience for us. Five days, five track records. That's my first question. It was five <laughs> tracks, five records and a thousand miles yes. in five days. What was that like for you and the whole team? It was a test of both resilience, endurance, and ultimate performance. So uh, it was a thousand road miles, which demonstrated this car can drive on the road. It's fully homologated, crash tested, emission certified, and it can show up at the track and actually run the fastest lap time as well. So it was both the ultimate road car, the ultimate track car, both in what is one epic experience of five days. And what came out of it was a car story and a human story. And we filmed a great documentary covering it all as well called uh, The California Gold Rush. That's <clears throat> awesome. I look forward to watching it. I got to watch the trailer. Amazing. Why was it important for you guys to do that thousand miles? It was just the test to prove that it can do it mm -hmm. all basically. Yes, exactly <laughs> that. It's, you know, when you get to a track, setting the car up, spending a week tuning in for that specific track and then getting the record, that's really a small focused achievement. Yeah. And we felt the 21C had the capability to demonstrate it can drive on the road, it can show up, it doesn't need to be set up differently, it can get on the track and it can break that record. So it was showing what I would say is actually a much harder use case for a hypercar yes. than just doing a lap record. It's five, but it's also the distance in between. It's the road and the track, and it's the endurance component. The stopping and the going and the stopping everything and in going. between. <laughs> yes, exactly. And five very different tracks, right? And that pushes the car a lot as well. Yeah, which track was, would you say, was the most fun and which was the most <laughs> challenging? Were they the same one? <laughs> you know, uh, not the same one. Um, <laughs> I would say Sonoma was the most fun. Okay. So at Sonoma, um, we had a great day, uh, beautiful track, beautiful weather, um, car ran amazingly, got the record, but got it right maybe 20 minutes before the track went cold. So it was the sort of day we're building up for it and then we ultimately got it and it was a big celebration. I'd say Laguna Seca was the hardest. Um, Laguna Seca was the one track where we're beating our own track record. Okay. <laughs> so we're going against ourselves, trying to get a time that we had set last year. And that was incredibly difficult, right? Same hardware, same driver, going against his same time, the brand <laughs> going against enemy. our same time. <laughs> and that's actually where, uh, you know, we took some impact and, and had the greatest challenge was at Laguna. Oh, that's yeah. where that came yeah. from? Okay, yeah. we're going to go take a look at that in a little while. Great. Um, <clears throat> You guys previously beat Koenigsegg's record and mm -hmm. then you went and did it again. Yes. How has that been? And does that like push you to do it even yeah. more, to be ready to do it again? <laughs> yeah, it's competition and, and we love competition. So yes. there's mutual respect. Uh, you know, Koenigsegg makes a great car. We took the record, they took the record. We immediately returned and took the record <laughs> from them. It's gonna be interesting to see if they go out to Laguna Seca here in, in the next weeks or days. and kind of hope they do so that we can have a, a good rivalry back and forth there again. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any other automaker that you're kind of going back and forth with like that? Really Koenigsegg and Laguna has been the main one, but okay. we'll see. Now we'll that see. we've set more track records, we'll also go to the international side. So we're a US brand, we're California based. So we focused on California with these records. We'll stretch across the US now and then we'll go overseas. Uh, and I think once we get into Europe and we start taking records there, other car makers will kind of come to the competition table as well. They'll start <laughs> lining up, that's yes. for sure. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what do you think was one of the biggest risks you guys were taking in this whole challenge? Um, I mean, <laughs> I think the time envelope of five days is incredibly short. Yes. Meaning when our marketing team and our BD team and the overall company leadership said, let's try and do five days, five records, the engineering team and the testing team, the track team, you know, initially it was like, that's kind of mission impossible, right? <laughs> you can do maybe five records over a month, yeah. you know, if you give us enough time. And we said, no, we're gonna do this as an epic sprint, five days, five records. They agreed to do it and they pulled it off. So <laughs> the timing envelope forces that endurance and that reliability yeah. in one go, as opposed to spreading it over months of work. Yeah, that makes <clears throat> sense. Well, you did it. So next time you go to them with a crazy idea, hopefully they're like, you know what, just go yeah, for it. Yeah, <laughs> we can help, we can help, right? <laughs> um, we can walk around the car. What aspect do you think kind of contributed to you guys being able to pull this off on the car itself? Oh, I mean, 
all of the vehicle was designed for <laughs> ultimate performance, right? And you see from the front, it. single uh, cockpit style seating, one plus one. So you've got a narrower frontal surface area that's better for CFD. You've got the big fixed arrow on the back. So you're doing three and a half to one lift to drag. You can see how big this front splitter is. Yes. So the arrow package is designed, I'd say better than any road homologated car out there. Uh, from a powertrain standpoint, we're a strong hybrid, doing 1250 horsepower total, four-wheel drive. That's how you put down that sort of track time. And you can see here, even with a new technology, right, on the chassis side as well, we've designed our own software that's then designed the parts. We've then actually 3D printed them out of metal on yeah. our own 3D printers and our own materials, assembled them with robots. Uh, <laughs> that's contributed to the performance. But you see, even with new technology, even with the best on the powertrain side, you're pushing it to the limit and you're sometimes exceeding the limit. Yeah. Right? So we took a, a pretty measured, I'd say, tire wall impact there at Laguna. Um, and the team again looked at the car. We hadn't set the record yet and ultimately decided to put some race tape on it, get I the duct tape it. out, glue this back <laughs> together, get the splitter reconstructed. And Joel, our test pilot, is I think honestly one of the best in the world at his ability um, to set records but also give feedback on the engineering side for how the car is performing oh my god and he got right back in the car after that impact and he ran the record time thereafter so that's uh that's kind of the zinger spirit and that showed up in a big way at laguna <laughs> so it um completed the record with this proprietary yes. duct tape on yes there. <laughs> yeah you know that that is a hidden secret right there as well yeah if you want a faster car put some race tape on it. i know well yeah. it's like when you are tuning your car or something you can use a zip tie you know yes just exactly. throw a zip tie on it keep your bumper on there <laughs> yeah. yeah so this was at laguna seca were there any other tracks that presented kind of a challenge that you weren't expecting or anything of that nature our our first track actually, which was Thunder Hill. Okay. We went out, we ran the record, and then we ran another lap, and we bottomed up on kind of a shallow patch on the track, oh. and we actually cracked a casing <gasps> in the engine uh, area of the car, and we looked at it, and we almost shut down five days, five <gasps> records, no. right? And we're like, we got one, but you know, we need to drop the engine, we need to drop the transmission, we need to do a full rebuild, how can we possibly keep going? In the end, the technicians actually themselves said, if we can get those parts from LA, you know, up to Thunder Hill, use a garage here and work through the night, we might be able to get back on the road tomorrow morning. What? And they worked through the whole night, they dropped the engine transmission, put it all back together, got back on the road, and uh, Sonoma was the second track and we got the record there. So it almost was a short, uh, lived experience, but it turned into exactly what we set out for. That's wild. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you were able to fix it because obviously that's an important thing to have going well in the back of the car. Absolutely. Um, who drove it on the streets, like on the road from track to track? Yeah, our very own chief engineer, Ewan Baldry. <laughs> so he's uh, been with us from the very, very beginning of Zinger Vehicles. Okay. Um, really has built out that engineering team in the company uh, with myself and the leadership team. and. He was amazing. Not only was he doing kind of the trackside engineering and making sure that uh, these lap records were being achieved, but then he would get in the car at the end of the day, drive it for the five hours, arrive at two in the morning, catch just a few hours of sleep and go do it again. But he did it with a smile on his face because he engineered this team. He runs that engineering team and um, you know, this car is kind of his baby as well. So driving it between these track records after a track win, oh uh, yeah, that's a pretty special feeling as well. We actually <laughs> just saw, we saw the green one. Is that the rattlesnake? What, the rattlesnake green. Rattlesnake. Yeah. We saw someone driving it around yeah. and I was like, that's a singer. It was the first time I've seen yeah. one driving yeah. on the road. We've got so quite I, a few on the road now and here in Carmel, I want to say we've got five or six cars driving around that are oh, customer wow. cars. So Wait, that's so exciting. Yeah, we've managed to put quite a few in California. Again, California yeah. brand, so we wanted first customers here. And then we actually had a number fly their car out here or transport their car out here just so they could have it for the week and show it <laughs> off and drive it and enjoy it. That's <clears> so cool. Well, I was excited. I was almost expecting you to be behind the wheel of it, but it was just some guy. And yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, it must be a customer. <laughs> yeah, That's I love exciting. seeing them. I get super giddy whenever I see one <laughs> yeah, on the Yeah, I would too. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> um, how much of the 21C's performance do you think was a result of fine tuning for each track? versus kind of inherent design advantages that it has overall. Really the latter, yeah. yeah. I mean, we 
we only had minutes at times to set up and at certain points like thermal we just showed up and we didn't even just do ran. a tire change oh between gosh. the road and the track That's which is awesome. insane yeah right? we've driven hours on those tires we showed up no tire change set the record and that was part of demonstrating that this car holistically as a package envelopes a lot of performance and a lot of different tracks and you can set these times without being a track specialist or really yeah. changing the suspension architecture dampening or other you know performance elements of the car taking hours to set it up yeah. and then going yeah. on the track it can yeah. just do it all it's this idea of next-gen technology yeah but it only matters if you can apply it in a real world application and if you're forcing someone to do hours or spend tens of thousands of dollars to actually get that performance it's not really that worthwhile yeah, so that, that was sense. that was really a, an ethos from day one was yes next-gen tech but make it accessible to the client to the customer well and then it can take you to dinner afterwards exactly it right? does it all yeah. you and your date perfect, you and your date <laughs> perfect roll up to dinner yeah. i love it um with such tight margins on these lap records do you think that after all this there's still a way to push this even further well, there always is yes yeah there definitely will be and uh, the 21C, it's not done with its lap records. So okay, there's going to be it. more and more. We're going to keep pushing it. And we're a brand and we're here to build future cars as well. So this yeah. will continue from here. I love it. Is there anything else you want to show us on the car from its journey while we're looking at it? Uh, I think you've really seen most of the cool bits. Obviously, you saw the tire <laughs> impact. You saw the, the mirrors gone missing as oh, well. Oh, that's what the mirror. Yeah, that, that was the that mirror. That is just our, our leftover mirror there. Yeah. <laughs> so and funny. we're going to keep this car in this shape. So it's going to be displayed at Quail with all the, the battle scars. And we honestly probably won't even rebuild it hereafter. We'll continue to set lap records in this spec. I love it. Well, I was really <clears throat> excited to see it in this shape. I mean, it's proof that you guys did exactly what you set out to do and congrats on that. This is Thank you. really awesome. Thank you. And Thank I'm you. proud of everything that you guys have done since we talked last year. It's been Thank really you. fun watching everything yeah. that you guys have accomplished. It's been so. a big year. The team's incredible. The yeah. team's grown a lot. I think we've got world class, which to me is this combination of people they're just two feet in, so committed, yes. but then also have the capability and the talent that is top and you need yeah. both. And then when you have both, you can do something pretty incredible. And Definitely. That's, that's a few hundred people now that are at that level. That's, that's what awesome. it takes to do something like this. Well, congrats again. Thank you for taking you. the time of to course. talk to us. This yeah. was amazing. Thank you. So.